Hi, welcome to Excelling with Naomi. In this video, I will show you how you test for serial correlation using the Dubbing Watson test. And my data set is already in starter. And the variables that I'm interested in are the log of domestic debt, the log of external debt, which are the predictor variables, and the log of GDP, which is the dependent variable. Now to test the for serial correlation using the Dubbing Watson test, we have to first of all set the time variable. So we use the command T set and then our time variable is years. Now we have already set the variable time or the time variable. So the next step is to run the regression command. So regress, select the dependent variable and then the predictor variables and place enter. After that, we run the command DW start, which is the command for the Dubbing Watson test. So the command is DW start and then click enter. Now the rule of that for the Dubbing Watson test is that if the values for the Dub Dub Dubbing Watson statistic are between 1.5 and 2.5, then the data is normal or there is no serial correlation or autocorrelation. But if it is below 1.5 or more than 2.5, then we conclude that the data has or suffers from serial correlation. For my results here, the value is 0.3733. And this value is less than 1.5. And therefore, my data suffers from serial correlation. So that is how you test for serial correlation. If this value is between 1.5 and 2.5, then we, have, we would have concluded that the data does not suffer from serial correlation or autocorrelation. But for our case, since it is less than 1.5, then there is serial correlation. If you find this information to be helpful, please like this video and also subscribe to this channel if you have not done so.